gorgeous seaside, eh? It's cold, it's windy, I'm soaked through to the skin, so it's a good job that's waterproof. But it's time to wake up to walk. Morning, guys, hope you're well. Welcome to Do Daily. Attack the day. Dead here. From an absolutely amazing piece of coastline. I'm on the North Norfolk coast, a place called Unstanton. Somewhere I've been meaning to come for a while, and bizarrely, I never have. It's actually one of the closest beaches to Nottingham. But generally, I always go over the water towards the Gagness, see the wind farm over there. And whilst I've been absolutely battered by the elements, and it's taken me several attempts to film today, you can see behind me and over Skegness, it looks absolutely amazing. Blue skies, but not to worry, you know, all that wind and rain just makes it even more epic. These cliffs along this rugged coastline, up on the cliffs is the start of the Norfolk coastal path, which is 75 miles. Great Yarmouth onto Lower Stoft and heading towards Great Yarmouth today for a couple of days' break by the coast, taking the fresh air. I won't be walking it, I can't wait to get back in the car to be honest, fly off and get some coffee and breakfast. But I've got so much positivity and enthusiasm for being out this morning. So glad we took the decision, having got up really, really early because I had to film Wake Up To Walk. We set off in the dark at 4 a.m. And when we got by Kings Lynn, the day was starting to break. So we took an opportunity to visit this place, like I say, which I've been meaning to come for a while. And I love it when I get to do something different. In recent weeks, I've been walking the Robin Hood way. And again, not being able to do it this week because I've got alternative plans. I'll get back to that, looking forward to Finishing it off, completing, feeling that little sense of achievement. I've been doing that for months now, and I'm against the clock, so I will be back at it next week. But again, this week, plans dictate that I can't do it, but it just gives me the opportunity to visit somewhere new and different. You know, absolutely beautiful this place. I definitely want to come back. And see it a lot more. A bit of a whistle stop tour this morning, and whilst. Uh, to sort of express it, let it all out. You know, and this week, I've been checking in all week, you know, despite the fact I'm absolutely fine. Lots has happened. If you see Do Daily, you won't need me to explain. You know, plenty of activity with the half marathon, looking to the future with the proposal. And also, just doing the things I do every day, lots of hard work, you know, to, to keep things ticking over. But that takes its toll, no matter how you're feeling. You know, and it, it can quickly, the reason we start to sort of deteriorate is because we, we can forget how tired we are sometimes. Tiredness creates bad decisions, you know, and, and sometimes stops us doing the things we want to do. I refuse to let it, that's why I'm out. Even being tired, that's why I'm out on a Friday morning, walking, getting in my activity, getting them when dolphins going, feeling amazing about what I'm doing, enthusing about stunning place like this. I'll just show you behind me now. Absolutely beautiful. I can't stay that way too long. I actually started this end of the beach in Old Unstanton and walked into the town. But that way the wind was really, really against me and it was making it particularly tricky to film. So, 
what that has done is given me the opportunity to turn, turn around and come back. So I've had a really good one this morning. It must be at least three or four miles up and down this beach this morning. And that's brilliant, isn't it? You know, what a way to start the weekend. You know, not just getting up early, feeling like I'm attacking the day. You know, getting up early and getting out for a walk. Not just getting up early and getting out for a walk. Getting up early, getting out for a walk. Getting somewhere new. And on top of that, getting somewhere absolutely stunning. This place is to Norfolk. What I will say about it, I love to see it in the afternoon when the sun's setting. It's actually west facing on the east coast. Um, just a little bit weird. before I started. It's actually where the patron, patron saint of England lived until the 14th century. Before St George it was St Edmund. He, uh, he was the king of Norfolk and Suffolk. He owned the whole of East Anglia. Um, but he, in the 14th century the Danes invaded and he was beheaded. They hid his head in the woods. And apparently, apparently, That's just 
silly, isn't it? We've got to sort of live these moments. We've got to take them through. Do you know, and if something else like the football, where we can take enjoyment from it comes along, why can't I do that as well? Do you know, it's all made for an absolutely fantastic week. Do you know, but if I, what I was trying to get to with the football, if I had not got that, do you know, and just sort of not put everything together, pieced it all up, realised it's done with the absolute world of good. Do you know, Especially with that blue light up there, you know, I can assure you it's going to make for a calm a few days, but a few days where I'm really at peace with myself. I'm really at peace with everything I've done, you know. Like I say, it's hard to say I'm not already, because I absolutely am. But, you know, having sort of been that little bit bullish and thought of myself, just put myself first just once um, after putting everybody else first for so long it's made me feel absolutely fantastic and that's kind of the message I wanted to get across this week guys sometimes we just have to sort of check in even when we're flying you know it's easy to sort of keep harping back when things aren't great about checking in and we need to talk we also need to talk when things are good I get an opportunity for do daily every day and encourage people to keep watching and if you can take something from it that's fantastic. And that's just the message I want to get across. Hopefully you've taken something from that. Hopefully you've enjoyed the videos this week. If you have, please like, share, subscribe, do all the usual things. Something else I'm feeling particularly good about, those vlogs in particular are getting really great viewing numbers. So whilst I'm working hard, you know, and it's not everything, it's, it's something to be happy about is something to say it's working you know and it definitely feels like it is everything seems to be working right now but I need that few days just to take it take it all in spend some time with Kay get even more of this coastline and this fresh air and really really enjoy myself if you can get out guys please do you don't need this you just need some space some fresh air, some blue sky if you can get it, yeah. and have an absolutely fantastic weekend. I'll be back on Monday for some Monday motivation, tell you about my weekend, look forward to the week ahead, and start building a new theme about how I'm feeling and what I'm doing. Until then, just doing it.